Fight fans, it is time for our co-main event. This bout is for the Karate Combat Bantamweight Championship, a bout that could go as long as five rounds. Fighting first, out of the blue corner, the challenger. Welcome from Peru, Jesus the Beast Lopez. Oh, so Jesus pit. Lopez makes his way to the pit. He is your challenger here tonight. Said he was extremely happy to have this opportunity. He thinks his opponent's good, but he says he's fought people a lot tougher than him. He believes he has some combinations he's going to work on Owen Chalmere. He feels that this fight is likely going to go the full five rounds. Well, we shall see. Well, you, you always have to prepare for the worst, you know? So if it, if it finishes earlier, it's a good thing, you know? And both have their models here. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is the Karate Combat reigning bantamweight champion. He's from Ireland. Welcome, Owen Chumia! This is your bantamweight champion, 26 years old, hailing from Ireland, originally a Waduriu proponent, but uh, very much a more well-rounded striker now. He said he's seen his opponent's fights, and despite uh, a mixed record, he's prepared for the absolute best version that he thinks Jesus Lopez will be. Very interesting individual who has actually joined a model rocketry club in his spare time whilst he's waiting <laughs> to graduate uh, October of next year with his PhD. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Save some accomplishments Building for rockets. everyone else, please, Owen. He's programming the whole <laughs> flight plan and everything for rockets. Blue corner for Jesus Lopez, 35 years old, uh, nine years the senior. Mixed record there, as you can see. Probably going to be a little bit taller, though. There you go, two inches shorter is your champion. But uh, as we kind of said, he just comes forward and really makes up for it. A lot of damage, incredibly durable. We've seen him take some shots and just keep coming forward. All right, fighters, it is now time to enter <laughs> the pit. Karate Combat 37 is sponsored ready? by Gainful. Supplements like Gainful's personalized protein, on, hydration, and pre-workout deliver Do results this. for you. Sign up now, get 40% off at gainful.com forward slash KC37. Nice kick there by Lopez. This fight, ladies and gentlemen, has the potential to be the best fight of the night, just for you, just wow. so you know, and it's not even the final yet. Look oh. at that double jab body to the head. That's the second one. Josh Palmer, Bass Rutten, and of course, George St. Pierre. Pit side for you tonight at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. Right, right, right. Good. Good. Just two Good. fights Good. left Good. for the Karate Combat 2022 calendar. Chomia with at the center of the pit. Close stance. Oh, Jesus is working on those uh, left leg kick very well. You got, uh, you got you got three good leg kicks so far. Ooh, big nice fight from Lopez. Yeah, we've seen Chomia take uh, a lot of shots and, and very rarely get wobbled. We have seen it though. Remember, no clinching striking. Okay, no knee when you're clinching. Let's go. Again. Oh, those were very straight shots indeed. And we, we've got to talk as well. It's not just the, the constant forward movement, but like it's the pace that he puts his opponents under, right? The volume of strikes, the constant barrage. You know, as you said, disrupts the breathing, disrupts their rhythm. Everything, you know, if you can't breathe regularly, you get interrupted the whole time. That makes you tired so fast. We were talking about it with fainting already that happens. So you can only imagine when it hits. I, I'm, I'm impressed so far by uh, Lopez, uh, the way he keeps his composure. You know yep. what I mean? He doesn't, fe he doesn't feel like he's rushed. Everything he throws is, is methodical. He doesn't waste any energy. 
you see he went to the body, went to the head, to the body, go, goes to the leg. It's very methodical, very beautiful. He's going to get warned for a knee here because he clinched and pulled Chalmia onto the knee. You can't do that. You've got to frame and throw it as a, an isolated strike. And he's caught the champion again for a second time in quick succession there. And the other way around. <laughs> and, and those leg kicks now are starting to, the damage of, of those leg kicks are starting to show now. And they're very powerful. Look the way uh, Sh Shalmya is, is moving his leg. Yeah, he, right. just to make sure, right. 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 point your left toes from your left foot, put a 45 degree angle to the left. So he's going to kick your shin instead of the calf. Oh, boy. You know, jumping knee there, ate a shot over the top. Oh, he got clipped now with a hook. Oh, we've seen Chelmia do this before, and that's a great move from Lopez there. Tried the spinning back fist. Right. Big shots. Right. Wow, that's a end of the round snuck that up on us fast. There. Yeah. Wow, that means it's super exciting. Really good first round. Any thoughts on uh, who no. got the better there? I, I, I would give the first round to, Lo to uh, Lopez. Yeah. 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 With leg, leg kicks, be better variety of strike. Yeah. He got clipped with a hook, at, uh, left a lead hook at the, at the end, but he, I think he statistically he had the, he had the edge. Well, let's take a look at some of these shots here. Lopez that was jumping nice, knee, knee. Oh. jumping knee off the pit wall. Lopez winging everything in. That was a good counter left from Chelmia. And here Chelmia trying to absorb some punches and land back. Did a good job there, but ate a strong right. Yep. And there was quite a lot of those tit for tats. I'll eat one, you eat one kind of exchanges. Nice knees by Lopez too. What I would like the, the, these guys doing sometimes is the scissor knee. You know, sometimes it, 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 the way it comes in, it's it's more deceptive. It, 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 it more deceptible. You know, you don't see it coming as as much. You can't hold the knee. Okay. Scissor knee. Okay. Go back for me. So the referee, Sam Amidi, just reminding them the rules under which knees can be incorporated into the arsenal here. Oh, Ooh. gotta watch out for that. Yeah. He's been working well, on his uh, counter. Oh! Beautiful, beautiful work from Jesus Lopez. Again, he's got to get that knee off the ground and throw those strikes. And look at that. Chomia held his hands up and said, OK, break, break. But you still get to throw a technique. And that was a textbook Haragoshi from Jesus Lopez. And those kicks again. Yes. He's constantly attacking with the right calf kicks. Well, Chelmi is still light. Fire too. Yeah, light on the feet here. We're in round two. Long way to go still. And you see that both fighters sometimes have their hands down. It's okay because they're not in, in, the, in the punching and kicking range. So they use the, their hands as balance so they, they have better mobility. There's a cliche in fighting you that says, oh, always keep your hands up, which is wrong, by the way. Yeah, I never did. I did it on purpose low because I know they're going to hit the head. Then I get a measure of his reach. Oh. Well, Chelmia well, with that. some gamesmanship there. He ate a good right. shot on the guard. Right. George, you talked about this earlier. You can't take shots on the guard. That concussive force still goes through those small gloves. Yes, it's always better to avoid it than to, to, to block it. Especially when in karate combat with those small gloves. Well, Chelmia took another shot there. Trying to be first to the punch. Move the head out of alignment on that jab. Now they're open stance. Oh, oh, he goes for that kick. This is a dangerous kick. Very good. Nice knee, too, again. Shin against shin. Right. No, you see Lopez right. thinking about it again. Wow. Right. Right. Break Beautiful. Break yeah, break lovely, Harry. Right. Full break already. I've, yeah, I've pulled it already. What the fuck? Well, Chelmia, I think, getting a little bit fired up here. Got to be careful, though. He does, he's not too predictable with the forward motion. Great, great fight. Great technical fight also. We see a, a little bit of everything. We see knees, punches, kicks, throws. This is a beautiful, beautiful display of, uh, of karate. Now, now you see Lopez is tempting, tempting his opponent to throw something. 
but he, that that means because he leans forward, there that's mean go. he wants to he want to go in a, in a counter attack. He wants Chelmia to throw a punch. Well, that's a good use of a knee from Lopez. Oh, these are going to be nice tough rounds for the score. for Lopez to move out of the corner, right? Yeah. That was nice. Circle around. Wow. Guys, um, I was not expecting a, 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 that much of a high-level performance by Lopez so far. He, he really stepped up his game. Well, right we there. said it, right? You know, if it's if he's on, and he's on, oh, it's he, his day. He, he can match anybody. Tonight is really on, like, really on. Like, And he said it before. Oh, he said, I'm, I'm, a bet, I'm, the, I'm at my best tonight. You know, it's true. It's the best version that we've ever seen so far. It's, his performance is fantastic. Boom, look at that knee, man. Beautiful. Yeah, and that's good. Something else Chelmy has just got to learn to think about as he walks forward with his hands up. <laughs> Ian Gary. Wow. So Karate combat for all ages. Yeah. UFC welterweight yeah. Ian Machado yeah. Gary yeah. is pit side tonight. Yeah. Obviously yeah. rooting for his Irish compatriot, yeah. Owen Chelmia. Santa Claus is losing his... Yeah. Uh, Slowly getting more disheveled as the night goes on. Round three, you ready? You ready? Go. <laughs> Again, Lopez opens up with a knee, backs Chelmier up, not able to take advantage of the misstep, though. Well, let's take that break. Right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Stop pinching, you can't hold him in strike. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> a little bit of exasperation yeah, from uh, Sam Mamini. Sam there. So we're in our third round. Of course, championship rounds, four and five, still to come if they need them. Ooh, spinning back fist. Chelmi is bleeding from the nose pretty hard. What advice would you guys have given to Chelmi in, in his corner between rounds there? It's an in and out movement. Yes. Go in, pop up, and move out again because yes. the counters from Lopez are really good. Yeah, and Lopez' experience is a big factor so far in this fight. You know, he's able to a little bit pick him apart a little bit better. So he can't stay in front of uh, Lopez like this. He needs to either come forward or just disengage. You know, don't, don't want to stay in my battle like this in front of a more experienced fighter. He kick up the open side as Chelme moves stance around. He has someone tonight, he's fighting someone that can match his power and, and, and strength, you know? So he needs to, to go in and out. He can't stay in front of the Lopez like this. Well, that's good work. Lands the jab for the second time in this round. That's very nice. The jab and then a right overhand. Yes. Behind the defense, that was nice. Throw a jab as a distraction, then he went on with the overhand that, that land on the side. It was beautiful. And he immediately, immediately after that, he moved out of range. Oh, body shot. Oh, again, nice knee from Lopez. Still a minute left in this third round. The pace has been ferocious from these two so far. Wow. Conditioning man. need to be absolute peak. Lopez's counters are great. Yeah, it really shows that he, he was, uh, it was part of his strategy. Was, I'm sure he was like planning his strategy on, on fighting off uh, countering uh, Chelmia. Yeah, you know, interestingly, he wouldn't actually tell us. He said, I think I've got combinations that are going to work against Chelmia. We have to wait and see what they are. When he first, when he throw first, sometimes it's it's very short combos. Like it's it's either a, a leg kick or a a, a, a jab, a jab. Oh, oh that's a hard oh, kick too. Oof. Right, right, right. Just threw the tempo off with the extra step in. Well, he's ahead. Championship rounds now. Huh? Yeah, I think Jesus Lopez probably getting the best of uh, our champion through these opening three rounds. But this is where it's gotta be made to pay. Oof. Now we're gonna see what they are mentally made of, you know what I mean? Replays coming in, good jab from Chomia there. That landed a, at least two or three times during the round. There's the jab at the overhand, maybe? No. Oh, eight one straight back, and this was the end, lovely sweep. Oh. 
Tell him, no elbow. Okay? No elbow. So Catherine Chalmier, Owen's mother. Oh, Jacare Souza, the legendary jiu-jitsu fighter and UFC middleweight. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I'm doing the crocodile pose in the corner as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Want a photo with that guy? You good, yeah. Animal. Rampo, you ready? You ready? Let's go. So fourth round underway. Championship rounds here. Jesus Lopez in the white. Owen Chelmia in the black pants. Chelmia still with his patented game plan of coming forward and throwing with a huge amount of aggression. You guys think just uh, more of the same from Lopez? What does he need to change up, if anything? Well, you don't really change a good formula, you know? Yep. It, it works very well so far. Um, Chelmia need, need to change the, temp, the tempo of the fight uh, for sure. Uh, he, he can't stay. He, sometimes there, there is times that he spend a uh, many few seconds in front of his opponent without moving. This is the, you can't do that in front of a more experienced fighter. But the thing is this: he's countering every strike. So what I would do if Chelmia was stand still, let him come to you. You know, change the game of the fight. You have to wonder, have we seen that, that type of fight IQ from Owen Chelmier in his previous fights yet? No, we haven't. You know, the, he started, Lopez started him meticulously. Yes, he was very well prepared, that, that, that showed. Everything that Chelmier would throw at him, he, he had an answer for it so far. Yes. And he counters for punches and with kicks as well. Sometimes uh, Chelmier comes in and he flaps a kick out. Oh, Chelmier doing some fancy footwork, but... Uh, but it, it, it is not over until it's over, guys. So we'll see. One punch can, one punch or kick can change the, the entire fight. Yeah, that's it. Tell me, you're trying to rely on a bit of boxing, perhaps. Got a minute left here in this fourth round. This looks like uh, when uh, Bruce Lee was fighting Chuck Norris, you know, and it didn't work, and then suddenly he started moving. A lot of footwork, and that's what Tell me now is doing. Using a lot of footwork, dance front and back. Lopez being very patient here. Oh, connect. oh, nice again. Oh, oh Shinner, God, Shinner, you heard that. that. Oh, oh, nice. Good high kick, and immediately Chelmia feels the need to come forward, trying to switch step into that kick. But Lopez has got his number right now. Final 30 seconds of round four. He's waiting now because everything he throws. Uh, Lopez, is, Lopez is baiting him in here. One of them's going to do something. <laughs> oh, oh, and that's great work from Jelmia. Well, uh, closing seconds here, and Oof. Lopez just uh, pushing him off. Lands a jumping knee right at the buzzer. Wow, what a fight. What a fight. It's, it's a really great fight. Oh, hey. Mama Lopez in the crowd tonight supporting her son here. He's putting on a heck of a performance so far. He said he felt it would go five rounds. It is going to indeed do that. Replays coming up, gents. Talk us through it. Boom! Look at that. Whoa. Hard shot. And again, on the counter, constantly. <laughs> Yeah, he's really, tonight it's really the best that he ever looked. Like, it's, his performance is fantastic. Yeah, so, four rounds in, possibly leading the way of Jesus Lopez. Yes. Uh, Owen, tell me, what, just go for broke here? He needs to. Yeah, yeah, no I choice. I not take the risk, he needs to go full power, he needs to get in there. Yes. So, gentlemen. I like his spinning punch. He throws some spinning spinning, spinning punches that, that you know, missed, missed a little ready? bit. But you ready? Let's go. If it lands, it could be very dangerous. He needs to go for right. Right. With, uh, with a Hail Mary, so to speak. And he's doing that. I think that's exactly what his mom told him to do. You got to go in now. Oh, what a shot. shot! Punch! Wow! Wow, man! I mean, look, Jeremy has got a chin, but uh, yeah, 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 you don't yeah. want to test it too many times. 
That's what they call the stiff jab. <laughs> oh, that was... Again. Oh, oh Chamier now is is pushing. Is, is, is oh, pushing. God, look at this. Lopez front kick to the oh, face, the looking for a throw here. Right. Oh. Chamier doing exactly what we thought he needed to do. Yes. Lopez measuring. I, I believe also that Chalmia well, needed need to go third. We talked about right. it earlier right. uh, let go, let tonight. Go, go, like he, he, he fake, go. make, make, make it in a way that that, that Lopez throw his counter strike and then go third, go over, over, over the Lopez strike. But you need to fake to do that because he cl clearly when he tried to go first, he, he fails so far uh, every time. Uh, Chelmia dancing around here. Lopez trying to play that counter game that he's been working so well through the first four rounds. A minute and a half left in this championship bout. Of course, we've got one other big championship fight coming your way next. Raymond Daniels and uh, Rafael Agaev are going to pick up the interim welterweight belt. The clock is ticking. Yeah, these are seconds that Jomia doesn't want to burn in a clinch in every exchange. Yes. Less, less, one, one less than a minute. Less than a minute. Le, Lopez blitzing, miss. Well, Jomia is trying to throw. Right, right, right. Up, 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 up. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Let's go, let's go. Final 40 seconds here. Nice left and the, the duck in. Oh! Right. Chance, you've got to work the takedown. Yes, yeah. Don't stall it. 30 seconds. Lead up a cut, right up a cut. Right. Back, I mean. Wow. Yeah, Chance, again, each one of these clinches the is just time clean, ebbing please. away. 18 seconds here. We could possibly see the champion dethroned, handed his first loss. In the karate combat pit. Well, the fight down. Right. Five seconds. Maybe let's one, go, one, one go, more opportun on. opportunity. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And this is the end of the bout. Wow. Well, both of them think they've done wow. enough. Hands in the air. Wow. Beautiful fight. Yeah, we knew this would be a lot of fun. It certainly was. Wow. We saw everything in this fight. We saw the punches, kicks. Help, uh, the, uh, <laughs> knees, yeah. yes, uh, trolls, you know, we sell everything. And let's that talk about that, that front kick to the face that happened at one point here. Boom, he beat him to the punch there, right? That was so beautifully timed. Yeah, I think this is going to be that kick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the front kick. Ooh. Wow. Beautiful performance. His timing tonight was just to an another level. There we have his mother. Yeah, Mama Lopez, she probably thinks her son's done enough. I think general consensus up here, we possibly do as well. There's no six rounds. We have got a decision. Fight's finished, guys, we've got a decision. Fight's finished, we've got a decision. Finished, we've got a decision. This is going to be anxious moments for both of these gentlemen. We're going to head them down back into the pit. See who's going to get this belt strapped on. Wow. Hey. Huh? Well, you get chance of Peru coming through the crowd here. Please, gentlemen. Hold up. Karate combat fans, give it up for both of these warriors. What a battle! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa. The winner. Champion out of the blue corner, Jesus Lopez! <laughs>
So our league president, Mr. Adam Kovac, straps that championship belt on our new bantamweight champion, Jesus the Beast Lopez. He, of course, is going to get the golden belt as well to wear into his next bout. Wow, man, I can only believe what the people in Peru right now are feeling because he's a big name in Peru. This is awesome for him. Uh, and you see the emotion. A, 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 big a big and good example of uh, per persistence, you know what I mean? His career was not in a, a straight line going up, you know? He had some downfall, some good and bad uh, moment, and now he's champion. And, like, what a performance. He excelled at the right moment. Well, wow. let's, let's head down into the pit, get a word with Layla. Uh, bring her over. The first thing he says to me is, my mother is here. Bring her over, please. So, Mama, make your way round. Let her come round and enter the pit here. Let her come round here. Puedes, puedes. Jesus, felicidades. Congratulations. Walk me through your emotions in this moment. I've trained a lot. I'm very happy for this. Mi hermano me preparó para esto desde niño y aquí estamos. El tiempo de Dios es perfecto. Siempre mantente listo que las oportunidades y tu momento llegarán. Estoy feliz de resultado. No solo soy yo, es mi familia, mi novia, mis amigos, todo el equipo en Perú, muchos de seis. Yo solamente recibo esto, pero esto de todos ellos. I've been waiting for this moment since I was a child, still training. I'm very happy. No words can express how happy I am. And this is not only for me. This is for my family, my mom, my brother, my coach, my girlfriend, and everyone in Peru. God's timing is perfect. This is all for you. Your new champion, Jesus. Congratulations. So man, man, that was an unbelievable performance. Jesus Lopez didn't just win that fight for himself and his family in Peru. He won it for karate as well. He prioritized mobility and fluidity over the rudimentary defenses of Western styles. He was able to move in and out. And you know, fighting karate, it is not turn-based. You do not attack and someone else defends. And then they attack and I defend. It is fluid. It is ongoing, it is simultaneous. And the reason he was able to win this fight is when Owen Chelmia would attack others, they would defend. But when Owen Chelmia would attack Jesus Lopez, he would intercept. That was a wonderful performance, a wonderful fight between two brilliant young martial artists, and it was an honor to watch. Accepting fist. <laughs> Thank you, Robin Black, for that analysis, guys. We're going to go ahead, as usual, take a look at the stats from that five-round championship fight. And they are, of course, going to go the way of Jesus Lopez. Uh, it was a split decision win. What are your thoughts on that? I thought he won. Yeah, not a split decision. I think he did a phenomenal job. He worked really hard on his game plan. The things that he was doing, the knees in there, the, the, the straight punch, the jab at that overhand, the hitting it, that... I mean, everything to throw, so we, we saw everything that we want to see in karate. I, I think he won as well. I think his, his timing, his, his techniques, everything was so perfect for him tonight. His best performance that I've seen so far for, from him. Yeah, and of course, you know, there's no shorter people in this, uh, shortage of people in this division for him to defend this belt again. Uh, you know, we've seen him ebb up and down a little bit. Can he stay at that level now? But that's the thing, you know, I think now he tasted it. Now he knows this is the game pad, this is the blueprint. So I, I truly believe he will. And, and, and every single time he gets better. I say this every show. Every single time we see him, he gets yes. better. So I can only imagine what's going to happen next. It's hard to become champion, but it, it's even harder to stay champion. So now he will need to put in even more commitment, more discipline into his craft to to improve and get better. You know, otherwise, if he doesn't improve, the game will will catch up to him. I think if anyone knows anything about that, it's definitely you. <laughs> <laughs> yes.